Hello, I'm Adrian Hyde of Adrian Hyde Photography and today I'm going to go through a little problem that I've had with NYX collection. Now ever since I upgraded my OS system from the old Sierra system to the new Sierra system, I've had a problem with it. Every time you do a NYX collection in silver effects or um, colour effects, you go through the whole process and then it crashes. Well, if you're having the same problem that I had, then watch this video because I'm gonna unravel how we change it. It's a very, very simple change. I just want to say thank um, Tony Casham for showing me this and I want to share it with you. So really, the, the credit should go to him. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so here we have a nice image I took on the PTO experience. We went out and had a little walk around one of the local towns. So I want to develop this, but I want to add Nix collection to it. So I'll export this into Photoshop. And every time I do this, I've got to remember to make this window smaller so you can see what goes on. So make that smaller. Oops, there we go, smaller, so we can see what's going on. I get rid of this. So at the moment, we do this, we, we like what we've got. There we go. Oh, let's make a nice new filter. So we have a filter in this collection, and I want to add a color effects to it. Does its all its stuff. And then just add this one. Okay. And if you look here, it'll add a layer here, it does it and it crashes. Very frustrating. Now let's do the same thing with silver effects. Edit this. And get rid of this. Make sure you can see everything at home. Does that get rid of that? Okay, so we're gonna add a filter, next collection filter, next collection silver effect. And say so we like this one. And then we press OK. It make the layer and then it'll crash. It's crashed. Okay, so the solution is very, very simple. We go into Photoshop and reduce the size of this window again. A little bit frustrating. So reduce the size of this window here, get rid of this, and over we go here. So first thing you've got to do is add a new layer. Just copy it. Copy this layer here, one you want to create. We're going to next collect. Oops, what's happened here? Photoshop. We go to next collection filter and just do color effects first. I say want to do this. Boom. This one. Doesn't matter. Now, down here we set settings. And this is the thing we want to change it. After clicking OK, go to here. Apply to a separate layer. Now, we want to change that to current layer. Press OK. Press OK. It will do all of its stuff. What you want it to do. And then, as if by magic, it will stay. It will stay. It's now saved. It hasn't crashed. So, let's carry on and do this for the silver effects. So, get rid of this. The background. Go to filter. Nick collection. Silver effects. So you like this one here, it doesn't matter. Down here for settings, after clicking OK, apply for the separate layer, current layer, and did I forget to make the extra, I did, I forgot to make the extra layer. So that's not going to work, it's gonna crash. 
No, it's not. I think what it's going to do, it's going to try and change the background layer. Let's have a look because it's locked. It's changed it to the background layer. So it still will work, but now I've lost the, the background layer, which is a bit of a shame. So the, the lesson of this is you must make that layer, copy this layer, and then it, it's not going to crash. But if you change that in the settings, then you won't have a problem. Well, I'm going to leave that there now. I hope that helps and gets you out of a little bit of trouble, at least with this um, little method. You can now use Nix Collection again, which I'm overjoyed with because I, I use it quite a lot. So, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.